This is Thelonious C. Jones. I'm a real estate developer, investor, and solutionist based out of Atlanta, Georgia. I've been real estate investing since 2009. I'm 29 years old. I currently own and manage a portfolio of single family homes and apartments in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, I, I love it. I love real estate. I love what I do. And today I want to answer the question for you, how I purchased my first rental property at the age of 20, I think I was 23 at that point, my first rental property. I also wrote about this in an ebook. So please email me. My email is in the description below, thelonianccjones at gmail.com. I will email you this ebook for free, which I'm going to talk about today briefly in this video. I moved to Atlanta in 2007, the fall. Um, and as you know, everything was kind of transitioning at this point with the economy. Um, I went to a Rich Dad Poor Dad seminar in, in December of 2007. And then I also paid to go to the, um, the Rich Dad seminar was free. So then I paid the $500 to go to the advanced seminar. And then from there, I really knew what I needed to do. The, the three things I really learned from going to Robert Kiyosaki in the pursuit of purchasing my first rental property was one, I needed a job because I needed a job that either had a salary or a nice income. So when the bank, when I was getting my loan, the bank, you know, they're going to look at your salary and your income. Number two, I know I need to save up some money for the down payment. I, I knew that I need, at, at where I lived at in Atlanta, I mean, I only needed to me about 10 to 15 grand for the type of property I was looking to purchase. And number three, I knew I needed the property to produce income. That Those are the three things I really learned by Rich Dad, and then that was my strategy moving forward. So first off, I got a job. I got my CDL, six months later, my commercial driver's license, became a truck driver, saved up my money for a year and a half, had $10,000. I write all, of, this is all written in here too. So email me for your free copy. Uh, saved out about ten, fifteen thousand dollars. Went and started looking for properties with my real estate agent. Got pre sorry, I got pre-approved for a mortgage of a hundred or hundred twenty-five thousand. Started looking for properties. Found a duplex in Southwest Atlanta for sixty-five thousand. Um, I needed to put ten thousand in it, so I got a. a a Fannie Mae loan, a federal loan, 3.5% down, which was $5,000. It was like 50, I think it was $5,800 I put down approximately on the house, on the hood. Okay, $5,800 down on the hood. Pretty good deal. I'm just thinking about it. I'm sorry. So basically my mortgage was based on the $75,000 because they tied the renovation into the mortgage. And it was about $750 per month. This was a duplex. It was 1,500 square feet on east side, four bedroom, two and a half bathroom on east side, built in 2003. I rented the other side for 825 dollars per month and ran into that tenant for for three and a half years so i basically had no rental expenses because my rent was offset i lived in the other side and i stayed there for four i stayed there for four years so got someone else in after the the tenant stayed there for three and a half years they stayed for like 10 months and during that time, I moved out also. So then when they moved out, I got two new individuals for $875 each per month. So I was making $1,750 per month. And my mortgage was seven around $700 a month. It fluctuated because I had the... Um, everything tied into my escrow account. So the mortgage would go up, but on average, it would go up and down between like 675 and 
seven seventy five, but on average I would say it was about seven fifty. So I was making about a thousand dollars profit per month. So it was good situation. I kept it for another year and a half. Kept the property for five five years total. So I was making good cash flow while I had those two tenants in there. Then I sold that property for a hundred and fifty thousand dollars in December of 2015. However, I had it under contract for 165 grand, but the appraisal came back at 133,000. But the buyer was able was to pay me, you know, the extra spread on it. So, and I, I felt it was a good deal for him, good deal for me. I wanted to get out. So over, so I made seventy five thousand dollars in rental income over those six years of having the house. I'm sorry, I had that six years. Um, bought it in November of 2009, sold it in December of 2015. Purchased it for seventy five thousand, sold it for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, collected seventy five thousand dollars in rental income, and made seventy thousand dollars net profit at sale. And mind you, I only put about less than six thousand dollars down on the house. And my, um, I think my percentage rate on the loan was like it wasn't even the best loan. I think it was like five percent. Please email me. I'll send you this ebook for free. This is Thelonious C. Jones. This is how I purchased my first rental property. I, I, this, I, like I said, I knew I had to get a good job. I became a truck driver. I was making like $35,000 a year. I knew I had to save up my money for the down payment. I had to put the uh, $6,000 down on the house, but there were still other things that I had to pay. So you, I really, you really need to save a little more than what you have on that HUD. Number three, I knew I needed income. So I got a duplex to offset my income because the economy was bad at this point. And that's really how I purchased my first rental property. I, all the details are here. Please email me to C. Jones at Gmail. Please look at look, look for my email in the description below. Thank you.